Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nico and I am a full-time eBay reseller. So I have one video ahead of this uh, on my phone that I can't upload because of the service in this part of Denver. Um, this gentleman that my dad and I stay with has a beautiful house but it's just over in Aurora, Colorado and this area of Denver. Um, until we drive out of the neighborhood, our phones, uh, thankfully I can text usually, but I certainly have no service. And uh, I do have the internet on my computer of the gentleman in the house, but I didn't think about getting his password. I can't remember what it is. My dad gave it to me yesterday, but I can't remember what it is to put it on my phone so I can upload the previous video. Um, so anyway... Um, I wanted to give you a quick synopsis of the day. I don't know how much space I have on my phone, so I've got to make this video quick. Uh, I'm used to making videos on my computer at home, and I have a webcam and all that fancy stuff. So anyway, um, I'll make this as quick and down and dirty as I can. So got up at 5, 5.30, can't remember. Um, uh, got a water, Diet Coke, that's a bad habit, don't do it. Um, but, you know, I felt nice and awake. Um sometime between that and 8.30, I got ready for the day, um, edited a bunch of listings and pulled off a bunch of junk that needed to come off of eBay. I took some of that and tried to consign it today. And then I did some listings off of the sheets that my VA had read, or I do the sheets, but, you know, he had the... Um, he had the listings drafted, and so I just double-checked the drafts based on my sheet, too, just to make sure that I had put first class. Because some things are close, you know, especially on, like, cargo shorts. And so I just have a couple of circles to know whether they're first class or priority. Anyway, I did that. Then I went to breakfast with my dad. So about 9.30, I headed out, um, went to the bins. The gal um, that I've been telling you about, she did follow through. I made a video about that a couple videos ago I will go in and edit that and put consignment day part one part two part three so it makes more sense I just didn't have time on my phone to worry about it I just got it uploaded um, so anyway she gave me 160 bucks that's the gist of the story um, some of it was stuff from the estate sale that I already had that I had brought from Wyoming and about 40 or 50 dollars of it was stuff at the bins like right in real time that she was off shopping I shopped for her and she insisted on giving me that much money for stuff that I mean I, I I think I deserve it I worked hard I really worked hard I asked her what she wanted I went shopping for her in the bins at the same time I was pulling stuff for myself I gave her stuff I would have sold on eBay but I got good prices for it from her I felt like so anyway long story short um got 160 bucks from her then I took all my stuff got in the car went to the first um store and what oh well first I paid $115 at the bins for my stuff none of that is included in the money she gave me because she bought it her own stuff I just found it she gave me a finder's fee and then she paid for it now um there is some cost out from the estate sale where I'm paying the guy from the estate sale and then I sold it to her so technically there's some money out there too then I spent $115 at the bins for my own stuff or for consignment stuff and my own eBay stuff so I got in the car it was about 2 or 2 30 by then and um, I didn't have lunch I wasn't hungry at the time because uh, I had eaten such a big breakfast but I did I did have a cooler thankfully and my cold packs were still nice and cold at that point so I had a few bites of a cookie and um, a diet coke so don't do that not that's super unhealthy um <laughs> it's not good but I wasn't hungry for like a real meal and literally I just had a few bites of the cookie like I was full um so then I went to the first consignment store let me see if I can even remember oh guys it's all boiler. let's see okay so at the first consignment store, I was surprised because they normally give me like 150 in consignment credit. This time they offered me 80 and I am just overloaded with consignment credit at this point that I haven't been able to spend. And I did. I tried in that store. I tried really hard. I shopped for a long time, did not find one thing, not because it's not there, just because there's so many sections of the store and I was in and out of the store too. I was trying to go ahead and get supper by that time. By that time, it was like 3.30, quarter to 4 by the time I got across town to Denver to this one 
gave them my stuff, got everything organized. I had to take about 20 or 30 minutes in the car and actually get the Ikea bags organized enough to know what I was taking them in because it was just all thrown in a trash bag at the bin. So I didn't even know what was my eBay, what, what I had wanted to consign. So that took 20 or 30 minutes. And it's so odd. This is the second time in... I want to say two or three days where I'm in the back of my car, I'm loading stuff, I'm getting all organized, and someone kind of close to me backs out, and another car on the other side backs out, and I'm like going like this because they're going to hit each other. And today, the guy just did not stop. The woman was so upset, and she had nowhere to go. And he had this long car, and he just kept backing right into her. And she was honking and honking and honking and honking. And I'm waving, you know. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm trying to work. I didn't say it, of course, but I'm just thinking, you know, the past two days I'm trying to work. I don't have time to, like, be the the person who gets in the middle of like you know would-be car accidents and I'm not talking about they start to back out and then the other person sees them I'm not talking about that I'm talking about one person and or, or yesterday it was both people both people just kept going and neither one saw each other and I was waving at that point and then finally one of them stopped but I mean it was inches I'm not kidding and then today I mean <sighs> this guy kept going so far and he was going to side swipe her and he still didn't see it. It wasn't even that he was going to hit her back to back. He was like, he kept backing up and then he was like here, but he didn't see her. And I, I was like waving and, you know, cause I don't want to be in the middle of that. So anyway, they, everybody's safe, but I'm just like, what is going on? You know, I am so thankful I have a backup mirror because that d has saved me in the past because I'm short and I would be the one to run into somebody and not realize they're behind me but um, thankfully I've got a backup mirror and then um, my car will like stop me whether I want to or not if I'm about to hit something it'll just jerk you even when you're not really going to hit something so anyway I had that fun today that was fun while I was outside organizing the car so I went in um what did I say? They gave me $44 because um, I took the cash rather than more consignment credit. I could have gotten $80. Now I'm kind of wishing I did because I found some great stuff at the last store. But I still have plenty of consignment credit. So I went ahead and took 40 bucks. Then across the street was a kid's store. So like I said in my last video, I think it was $14.50. That wasn't bad. It was just a couple little kids jeans and something else that they took I had maybe two or three dollars in bin weight invested and I turned that into 1450 so I was at 160 then I was at approximately another 60 after that stop um you know but that wasn't really that profitable because I had to drive all the way from the bins all the way over to this one even though it only says 10 miles it took me like an hour and a half in traffic if you count getting over there opening up my car hatch sitting there you know organizing everything walking it into two stores waiting I did shop but I didn't find anything so I was doing that then I had to go pick it back up all the leftovers get my money and then I did buy lunch there at Noodle and Co and so that whole process from the time I left the bins at 2.30, um, 2 or 2.30, by the time I was done with everything at this place, at these places, I want to say it was 4.30. I do think so with drive time and, and car time and everything. And um, so what I'm going to do is get better at that. I'm going to take my, my, my running shoes, like my walking shoes. And if I don't need to source, like right now I am overwhelmed with eBay. And if I don't need to source, then I'll go get my workout in or I'll go ahead and have lunch like I did or whatever. Um, it's a really nice, safe mall area, let alone I might just shop for myself for once, right? Um, anyway, then I left there. I went to the downtown one. Um, it's hard to, no, actually it was five, it was after five because I called them and I said, how late can I come with my stuff? I had a ton of vintage. I had a ton of stuff that I kind of thought they might want, but this store is really picky. I think they're just wanting literally anthropology and above. Um, I took them some vintage, which they do buy a little vintage, but it's very trendy vintage. And so they didn't take hardly any of my stuff at this one. It was kind of a wasted trip, but not really because I'm still learning. And at that store, so the first set of stores, I did not purchase anything. Oh, I hope I have it in here. If not, I'll have to show you tomorrow. Ah, I know I grabbed it. It's just not in the right pile, guys. I've got a mess. 
Anyway, this is only the second store where I purchase. I, um, yeah, I can't find the I can't find the first one. Anyway, what it is is it is a Farm Rio piece. Now it's a Farm Rio for anthropology. It's not just straight Farm Rio. That would be amazing. Um, and so they offered me for the two or three items they did take. I think in the end they only took two of my items at this store out of three IKEA bags. Um, what did he say? Thirty-seven, forty dollars, something like that. And um, that was in consignment credit. It would have been like twenty-four in cash. And I had this piece, but I paid thirty-seven fifty for this Farm Rio by Anthropology jump or jumpsuit. And I looked them up, and they have almost a hundred percent sell-through rate. And a lot of them are going for eighty bucks. And this was all free money from consi from two consignment items like junk that I wouldn't even put on eBay. They took it. They were happy with it. I got the free Farm Rio by Anthropology um, jumpsuit, and I'm thrilled with that. I will find it and show you. It is. I've literally got um, about eight IKEA bags in here that I have to resort now. I've got to resort them for tomorrow, and I'll tell you about that in just a sec. But anyway, left there a little disappointed, but I was really happy with my one piece. But I drove all the way down another 20 miles in Denver, another hour and a half in traffic to get one piece. But I am learning what they want, and you know, I'm getting there. I, I didn't take them what they wanted again today. Um, the first day, the first time I went to that store, I got, um, what, $80, 80 or, yeah, maybe even a little bit more, but at least $80. I, I bought that Dixon flannel at that store, and then I got $44 in cash that day. And um, so, you know, I'm learning. I did better the first time, actually, with the stuff I took. And this stuff was just not what they wanted. So then I went to the last store. I called on my way again, and I said, you know, how late can I come? And they said, you can come right up till 8.30 at night. We close at 9, be there by 8.30. And it was only like 7.15, and I said, oh, yeah, I'll make it. Took me till almost 8 in traffic, even that late at night in Denver. I guess I'm just a, too used to the mountains. I'm not used to, like, sitting in traffic, but it's all good. So I got there. I um, went in, and uh, she was a really sweet lady. Um, sorry guys, I gotta, uh, turn my husband off for a sec. I better hurry on this video. Anyway, I'll hurry because I want to call him back. We're going to ship together on the phone. Um, because he'll just keep trying until I do. And I, if I tip it to text him, it won't work. So anyway, long story short, went to the last one. She offered me, uh, what is it? Was it 65 or $70 in store credit or 30 some dollars in cash? I took the store credit, and this is why. Let me show you down and dirty, guys, real fast. All right, this is a Rails, brand new with tags. I paid $20 of my store credit, not just this time, but last time. The tag is on here somewhere. Yeah, so $19.99, not cheap, guys, not cheap. But it's new with tags, and the MSRP on this is like 80 or 100 I actually love this shirt, and it's in my size. And because it has that style with the tie on the bottom, it might actually fit my short self. So let's hope. All right. This is a brand new with tags Mountain Hardware shirt. Um, here's the tag. Mountain Hardware. And this cost me $11.99 of my consignment credit. Then this is a Topo Designs. I love you, I love you, I love you, Topo Designs. This is a Boulder, Colorado, or at least a Colorado brand. Whenever I see it, I just pick it up sight unseen. You know, I think it's dropped a little bit. I don't know exactly how much I'll get for this, but it was all free money with my consignment credit. So I spent $11.99, which usually I can get about $30 on a flannel like this. Um, my husband's like, are you calling me? Okay. Then I got a pair of brand new tags, Carhartts. I looked up this particular number. These are the Relaxed Fit Rugged Flex, um, let's see, canvas work pant. And these are an, a 36, 30, or 38, 32, so a great size. And this pair of pants, brand new tags, these should sell for about 38 bucks. And I spent $18 of my consignment credit. Okay. Then this, 
is a Smoke Rise Denim. I think I've had this brand one time, but it's been like years ago. I can't remember it. I spent $18 of my consignment credit, but these are new tags. And these are the, there's some style name or something. But anyway, these should sell for $55 at least on eBay. And then the best thing here, the best thing, except maybe the Farm Real piece. That may beat this one. I don't know. I spent $30 of my consignment credit. Now, I had to use one of my gift cards from like two days ago or yesterday to pay for the rest of this and some of my cash. But I have more than enough, so it's good. This is something I've sold in like the past two or three months. Oh, if you ever see them. Torrid and Betsy Johnson collab on this really nice dress. These are like sleeveless dresses. The one I had had roses on it last time. So I don't know exactly where I'm at on this, but I should get easily 80 to 150. The one that I had before sold for 150 like in a week. So I thought that was worth 30 and I'm good. So guys, that was it. Now I'm back in the neighborhood. It took me another like 20 minutes to get back. Traffic was a lot better. So anyway, all this was with consignment credit. All bought for eBay with consignment credit. Long story short, um, oh, let's see how to even surmise, how to even, you know, make it make sense. I spent $40 in gas, um, you know, some before I got to Denver, but then I filled up here and that will get me home. But anyway, you know, if we count all my expenses, let's say 45 in gas, my car gets good gas mileage, but I'm driving all over the Denver and I will tomorrow. So let's say maybe 60 bucks in gas by tomorrow. But as far as what I've spent so far today, then I spent about $40 in food only because I went with my dad. I got the tip that time. Then I spent about 16 bucks and I got several drinks like iced tea and several ice drinks so um throughout the day so I had two meals I've still got half of mine left and that'll probably get me till tonight or tomorrow but either way $40 in food then I spent um, $115 at the bins and I don't have a piece of paper guys but anyway you can do the math so what is that 80 plus 115 let's just say 200 and I got back 160 in cash I got back um uh, 60 in cash at those other two stores. So we're at, um, sorry guys, I'm tired. 240, is that right? No, 220, 220. Then I got all this free stuff with either consignment cash I got today or a little bit from what I had on a gift card, but all this eBay stuff was free. Plus I have eight bags of stuff that is either eBay or future consignment. So that is not bad. That is not bad at all. And so even if I was break even and just got to keep all this nice eBay stuff, I honestly would be very thrilled. But the fact that I still can consign a lot of this stuff to Wyoming and to, um, you know, like the reason I didn't sell much today, I don't think is because I had Cabela's in there and those are more Wyoming um, consignment store brands. I'm not saying they can't be Colorado, but at least not yet. It's just still too hot in the summer for some of it. But they told me they wanted jeans, so I took them in. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I got to go. We got to ship because my husband is coming to Denver tomorrow with my son. We're going to um, work together tomorrow. <laughs> so I will have a report probably not till Saturday. Um, I'm going to try to make notes tomorrow, but I don't promise. Um, excuse me. Even with the eight bags of stuff I have left, it's not good consignment quality for what I could get. If I had gone to these same stores on the same route and had, um, they really want Zara, they really want Maeve, they really want the Anthropologies, they love J. Jill, and they love um, Lauren Ralph Lauren dresses. Like, they put 50 bucks on them, and so I could easily get like 15 a, a dress, I think. So I'm just still taking them the wrong stuff. So if I can go get the right stuff in the morning at the bins, then I'll go peddle it, and I hope I have even a better report for you next time. All right, guys, thanks for listening. I'll get these uploaded as soon as I get some internet. Have a good day. Please like and subscribe. Bye.